My time at the uni has been more rewarding than I could have imagined. Um, I came straight from school but also participated in the summer school. Um, that gave me a really good idea of what was involved, the level that I would work in at and the, and the campus that I would be in. In third year, I completed my eight week placement with Keep Well, which was an NHS um, working to change behaviour. My fourth year honours project involved working with the council and the NHS. I worked with Chris and Joe looking at the project of food and physical literacy. I examined how accessible the concept was to the health and wellbeing wor workforce and was able to give them recommendations of how to take the project forward. After finishing my degree, I'm hoping to go forward and work in project management of health and wellbeing. As part of my research, I took focus groups with health and wellbeing professionals. These came from a range of services such as the NHS, Council and third sector organisations. We hosted four focus groups in each of the localities in Dumfries and Galloway and this gave us a good idea of the different opinions from both more rural areas and the urban areas. So I've worked with uh, students from the health and social policy course, both in terms of placement, which is eight weeks in length, and also uh, for final year dissertation students as well. So in terms of the placements, uh, we, we hosted one earlier this year. Uh, one of the key things that we were looking to, to emphasise was giving the student a real life experience of public health to give them the responsibility to take forward pieces of work that actually complement the strategic priorities of, of the department. So we worked with the student to actually uh, begin to have those conversations with head teachers and, and school communities to again look to develop recommendations to take back to our education team, our, our wider partners to begin to consider actually is this a concept that's right for Dumfries and Galloway, is it right for our schools and if it is what are the barriers and how do we remove them so it's about actually generating real world, real life evidence uh, to actually make physical activity part of everyday life. As part of the university process we've done various placements with the NHS, third sector organisations, councils just to give us experience with our learning process. As part of my third year, I did a placement with NHS in Fries and Galloway out west in Wigtonshire, working as part of the social prescribing team in Newton Stewart. As part of my fourth year dissertation, I worked with Laura Gibson, health and wellbeing specialist, working on Cool to Talk, a digital health intervention for young people, which will be piloted here for a two year project in August this year. My dissertation focused on how young people are likely to interact with Cool to Talk, the potential it has within the particular demographic of Dumfries and Galloway and what it could provide young people with due to a perceived lack of services within the region. Doing the placement, the various placements that we've had has given us valuable experience as it's allowing us to utilise everything that we've learned going through university and putting theories to use. It's been very valuable, it's helped us to make a lot of new contacts with people that we would never have known to contact about things before. It's helped us with what we can put on a CV and just general experience of the area in which we like to work. Um, myself in particular, I'm hoping to work in health promotion or health improvement within the NHS. Also entering the Council's graduate scheme, working on a variety of projects for a period of eight months. Most recently, the students that have been on place with me have been fourth year, honours year students, and they've been working with me on their dissertations. To give you a bit more detail of that, two of the students were working with me around digital health and wellbeing interventions for young people. Now this came about because we are really interested at looking at the modern concepts of how we provide health information to young people online because we know that young people are digital natives but also because we want to look at implementing a digital health and wellbeing intervention for young people here in Dumfries and Galloway. We wanted to go out and do some research with young people to find out what they wanted out of a health and wellbeing intervention. Now we were really excited when the two students approached us through the Glasgow University liaisons and had an interest in young people's health and wellbeing. So we were able to work with them to draw up a concept of what their dissertation might look like. 
So the benefits for the students were that they were able to engage with us as healthcare professionals. Um, we, we have got lots of experience around planning for interventions around health and wellbeing, around looking at young people's health and wellbeing in general. And the students were a real benefit to us because we're not young people ourselves anymore. You know, quite often if, if the students themselves are, are particularly engaged in maybe youth work or other sectors of the partners that we work with out in Dufferty and Galloway, we're able to utilise those opportunities for them to do some work that supports both what we would like to do as a, a health and wellbeing service, but also what the students would like to do with their future careers following studying the course at Glasgow University.